Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Facebook Pixel plugin and uh, today we'll be showing you the uh, workflow of this particular plugin and the admin configuration that is required uh, to support the same and uh, before we proceed further to the front end and then the admin backend panel for the initial configuration settings of the Magento 2 Facebook Pixel plugin let me give you a small gist about the plugin itself so basically it is used to integrate the Facebook Pixel analytics tool uh, to your Magento 2 web store and it would allow the store owner to track visitors and their behavior on your web store this eventually hel helps the store owner to build targeted audiences for future ads and remarket to recognize leads for people who have interacted with your website or performed some sort of actions so basically it works by placing and triggering cookies to track users as they interact with the web store itself so now let me take you to the web show front end and let's see how this particular uh, plugin works. So basically after the installation of this particular plugin, uh, what you need to do is you need to install the uh, Facebook helper uh, within your uh, Chrome. So for that you just need to navigate to the Chrome web store and there you need to type in the Facebook pixel helper and you can add it to your Chrome and uh, whenever uh, you tap that up, you'll be able to see uh, uh, what we see as the Facebook uh, Pixel Helper. As you can see now on the right hand corner side, I've uh, uh, added the Facebook Pixel Helper to my uh, Google Chrome page. Now at the front end right now, as you can see, if I enable the uh, Pixel Helper, you'll be able to see that two pixels are found on the uh, demo uh, that we are uh, right now on, the bags uh, uh, category. So you can see the pixel code for the category is there and the rest of the details as well and here you can see the pixel id uh, you can check the analytics with the same by tapping it and opening it up in uh, another window there and and then after choosing your business you can proceed with the anal analytic analytics there so after we've installed and configured the uh, module and we have uh, uh, added the uh, uh, facebook helper within the google chrome itself uh, the uh, web show owner uh, needs to log into his uh, Facebook business uh, manager account and within that uh, uh, the admin needs to navigate to the data sources section and uh, I'll just show you that so we have logged into for example our uh, Facebook business account and now we just need to uh, navigate to the section by tapping here as you can see and uh, that brings up the details uh, of the same and uh, and from there the admin can view the uh, details uh, for the respective section and on uh, selecting the view details basically a pop-up appears at your screen and uh, it looks something like that this as you can see and on the right hand page view section you can see the activity and uh, the data about the event code and here you can see uh, the same and uh, here you can see that uh, the last 40 page events are being uh, displayed here within the activity itself so after that uh, the admin can track the information of the all dynamic events of his emergency to web so easily and to verify the events uh, the admin can even uh, verify the individual pages uh, so as to make sure that the events are installed uh, correctly so as we told uh, you earlier that we need to have the facebook pixel helper as the chrome extension and this is optional so the F facebook pixel helper basically is a tool that checks the accuracy of the facebook pixel and uh, and test the pixel is working fine or not so uh, i showed you that at the web show front end and uh, if i activate my uh, facebook helper you'll be able to see that two pixels have been found on the uh, on my web store link that uh, we are on now right now and we have the page view and the view content sections as well now also know that uh, if you have any uh, ad blocker for your uh, Google Chrome browser then this particular Facebook pixel uh, helper would not be uh, working so as you can see here uh, after activating the uh, Facebook helper here we can see that uh, uh, the number of pixels that have been found for this particular page and from there the uh, admin can check the page view uh, and the other things that have been activated so around five things are there where we have set up the uh, pixels and those are the page view the subscribe button the subscribe button more of that and the add to uh, cart event button as well 
So now let me take you back. So uh, now uh, the uh, web store admin can get the Facebook Pixel uh, Manager business account, and for that we have already provided a link within the user guide that I've attached within the description section below. So you can follow the steps here. So you need to navigate to the facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager forward slash pixels. So from here you can uh, basically log into your uh, Facebook manager account or sign up for the Facebook itself. And then uh, after login, you'll be able to uh, navigate to the section I'll uh, just show that's it. Uh, that's the business settings and uh, after that you just need to select the pixels under the uh, data sources and uh, under the data sources we have the pixels and uh, after that uh, you just need to tap on the add button where a pop-up would uh, appear and uh, you'll have to click on the create button uh, thereafter so here's the pop-up that comes up after that and just tap here on the create to create a new uh, facebook pixel and uh, after you have created it they are you'll be able to see the uh, uh success message that shows that uh, the uh, what the, the pixel of or the relative pixel has been creating has been created and now you can work by installing some codes as well so that was how you can uh, generate the pixel id by creating an account uh, at the uh, facebook uh, manager pixel section and uh, now thereafter the admin can also uh, make what we see as the uh, initial configurations within the magento 2 web store and uh, before moving to that uh, i'll just show you how we can get the uh, pixel uh, or the facebook pixel id so after you've created the, the data sources and added your uh, Facebook pixel you'll have this section here uh, denoting your company you just need to check the pixel ID from here and now this Facebook pixel ID is used in the admin backend panel as well so now let's uh, navigate to the admin backend panel and let's see what different configuration settings are there for the Magento 2 web store so as to set up the Facebook uh, pixel uh, plugin so uh, for that I'll just take you to the admin uh, backend panel so here I'm at the uh, Machine 2 web store and I'll be logging into my admin account by entering my username, password and tapping here on the sign in button. And thereafter we'll be logged into our dashboard and then we'll be making the initial configuration settings for the Magento 2 Facebook Pixel plugin. So I've logged into my admin backend panel. We'll be navigating through stores, then configuration. So basically in the uh, initial configuration settings, we just need to set up what we need to track now on the configuration page under the web code block we will go to the facebook pixels uh, pixel uh, menu option as you can see on the left hand side and tapping that up brings up the configuration for this so here we have two different settings one is the general settings and the other one is the manage events that you wish to track so let's go to this uh, first so from here you can uh, you'll, you'll be able to manage the events like the product view category view add to cart add to wishlist initiate checkout purchase product search and the customer registration so you can enable or disable any uh, of the events that we have listed here and you can check the details of all the events that you want to check uh, that have been uh, set up here so all of these uh, events uh, can be tracked uh, by the admin now and under the general settings you just need to enable the uh, facebook pixel by choosing a yes otherwise uh, to not use it you just choose the no option now thereafter you can enter your facebook pixel id that we already showed you how to get from the facebook pixel manager account after you created a pixel there so you'll have that pixel uh, id or the facebook pixel id thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration button and uh, that's it uh, for the uh, machine to do facebook pixel uh, plugin and i hope it helped you in understanding the uh, flow and how uh, we can integrate the facebook pixel analytics tool to our uh, magento 2 web store and uh, we showed you how the store owner would be able to track the visitors and the behavior on your web store uh, by choosing the manage events you wish to track so all of these events would be tracked for you now and uh, this would help the store owner to build the targeted audience for the future ads and would be able to remarket to reorganize leads for the people who have interacted with your web store or performed some kind of actions within the store itself so uh the facebook pixel basically works by placing and triggering the cookies to track users as they interact with the web store itself so that was much and if you still have any questions or queries you can uh, go through the user guide and uh, 
the other sections like the store and the live demo once again and um, you can also mail us uh, at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can also create a ticket uh, for your doubts concerns or uh, any suggestions for this particular uh, plugin or any requests at uh, webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead